Hi guys, happy Saturday and happy weekend vlog and welcome back to my channel. We are starting today's video in the car. It's currently about 10.30 in the morning and you guys, the past few days have been kind of hectic to be honest. So Thursday, Stella came home kind of sick and I basically got no sleep whatsoever Thursday and I was gonna miss work on Friday but I had meetings and trainings and everything Friday so I was just gonna go to the trainings and then leave early and get her anyways in the middle of the training they called me and apparently Stella's building has a case of Japanese dust mites which apparently they're not really harmful to kids or anybody but if they bite it could be painful so obviously since sorry if this is the angle is bad but obviously since they're kids <laughs> that's not good so i ended up pulling her out of school early either way um and then her and i kind of just hung out the rest of the day friday i got a lot of stuff around the house done i steam mopped i cleaned i organized it was actually kind of nice but throughout the day she was slowly getting worse as in getting like still getting more sick and then yesterday it was just like a nightmare it wasn't fun and then i started not feeling good because all she wanted to do was be on me and she was coughing on me sneezing on me i mean so snotty she doesn't have the flu or anything thank god but last night was just a mess her and i probably went to bed at like 5 45 6 because i was so physically and mentally just exhausted so this morning as in saturday we quickly got up in the morning at like 6 30 since her and i went to bed so early um her and i both took a shower i washed our sheets and blankets just to make them fresh she's doing fine i feel kind of fine my throat kind of hurts but not too bad um but her nose is runny she has a rough cough which honestly i don't even think she got fully rid of her cough from the last time she was sick and it just sparked up everything also allergies lately have been so bad here so it's a mix of her having a cold allergies my allergies have been bad i know that for a fact so we went to breakfast this morning just as a family super early in the morning and Stella was doing good and then towards the end she was just getting super cranky and not about it so we came home and I told Andrew I just need a break and that sounds so sad because I work full full time now and Stella's in daycare most of the day but yesterday and last night all she wanted to do was be on me breathe on me put her hands down my shirt I mean she literally wanted to be on me 24 7 and it was mentally and physically draining and as a mom that's totally normal so I told Andrew we're gonna go back home you guys are gonna relax and although she's probably gonna freak out and cry I'm gonna go run errands go to the store grab myself a coffee because you guys I haven't had a coffee this morning and something hot just didn't seem good to me this morning so the priority was i left the house and grabbed myself an iced chai at one of my favorite spots here in town i'm looking for a faux tree to put in my living room so i think i'm gonna stop by this place that might have faux trees and look and then i do need to go to the grocery store for a couple of things out in town and on base and then i also stopped at the post office already because i had an amazon return i think i shared with you guys but i bought that decorative book but the first one came damaged and i have yet to even ship it out so i did that this morning and yeah that's pretty much it but sorry for my long ramble and my long spiel i just felt like I needed to have my personal space and I haven't had that since Stella has been wanting to be on me non-stop so it's kind of nice to get out of the house have a little breather Andrew said take my time which is so nice so and it's also almost her nap time unfortunately I kind of don't know what we're going to be doing this weekend since Stella's sick and it's such a beautiful day maybe after her nap she'll wake up a little better because I have been giving her medicine we have the humidifier running and all of that so we're doing everything that we're doing in order for her to feel better but I don't know what it is she just can't seem to kick this cold and a lot of my friends who have kids in daycare they have told me that at least the first full year to expect Stella to be sick off and on because you know her body just wasn't used to all of these germs she's building her immune system which I already knew but she's only been in daycare now for a little over a month and she's already been sick two or three times it's a little ridiculous but 
Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Destiny and I make motherhood and lifestyle content here on my channel. So if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you guys here, but all right, I need to leave this carport because this is strictly only for the coffee place. And we are gonna head to NAFCO, which is where they should have faux plants. Last weekend, I checked out this one store. They had faux trees that were semi pretty I just wasn't in love with any of them so hopefully I find something today because I feel like my living room needs some greenery and I don't know a nice tree purchase or home decor purchase today will probably just lift my spirits a little more and then we need to go to the store to grab a few things I'll probably do a grocery haul but that's the plan so far for today but all right I need my GPS because I'm vlogging on my phone I didn't even bring my camera so you guys may have noticed that I left my camera at home and I didn't want to have that be an excuse on why I wasn't filming so love my dedication all right let's go Okay, so didn't find anything here. They have a lot of real plants, but I didn't see any fake plants. So I might have to go back to that one place that I went to last weekend and maybe they got some new fake plants in, but I don't know if I'll have time to go today. Maybe, maybe I'll make time during Stella's nap, but I'm heading to the thrift store right here because I'm right here, so might as well. Andrew told me to take my time. I think he realized that I needed it, so that's what I'm going to do. Although I love running around with Stella and doing mommy errands with her, sometimes it is nice to do things by myself, but I'm going to that same thrift store that I took you guys to, I don't know, like a week or so ago. I didn't find anything when I came, but I'm hoping today maybe I'll find something. My friend said she came here yesterday and she found a really cute bowl, so... I don't know, I'm really particular. I'm not looking for anything in particular. <laughs> that was funny. Um, but, but yeah, I just pulled up. So we shall see if I find anything. I really like this face. This one's really cute too. Some of the grocery stores don't and i always 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 have my whole foods or trader joe's reusable grocery bags and for some reason i forgot them today and i i actually have like a lot of reusable bags i'm so annoyed with myself because i ended up buying more than what i thought i thought i was just gonna grab like five things here and then of course my eye just goes ooh 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 so i bought like a whole like grocery cart not like a cart but like the handheld ones full of food i think i spent less than 60 or around 60 which is pretty good um but i'm heading back to base now Andrew hasn't called me, so that's probably a really good sign. Um, Stella's due, Stella's actually due for her nap here in a bit, so when I get home, I'll probably have to put her down. But every time I come to the grocery stores out in town, they always just have some good things. I also bought Stella a chocolate donut with sprinkles on top, so that way after her nap, I'll give it to her. Because I think right now I'm going to feed her um, lunch. I bought her some chicken and stuff 
Oh, Andrew sent me a video. I bought her some chicken and stuff that she likes from the store. It's like orange chicken, but it's homemade, fresh. They make it daily throughout the day. And she hasn't really eaten much the past two days. Honestly, neither have I. I haven't really been super hungry. I've just been craving like liquids. Even this morning, I think I ate, I got eggs and like turkey sausage, something super simple. And I ate maybe half of it. And normally when I go to this place, I eat like my whole plate. So I don't feel sick. I just feel drained is probably the best word to describe how I feel because I haven't really been sleeping much the past few days. And I hate, I hate, hate, hate when Stella's sick. I just, uh, I want to take it all away from her. Last night I was praying and I was like, please, please God, just let Stella be better. I feel like she can't catch a break, my poor girl. But um, yeah, so I'm going to head to the grocery store on base, like I said, and then I'll probably just catch up with you guys when I get back home and see what Andrew and Stella are up to. He just sent me a video, so I'm curious to see what it is. It's either of her being a really good girl or she's crying for me so we'll see we'll see what kind of video he sent me but I think so far today is kind of a mini self-care day I went to go run to a few different stores that I wanted to go to when Stella naps I actually might go to that one store that has faux plants and pick up a tree for the living room hopefully they have last week when I went they had variety but nothing like full enough if that makes sense i wanted something a little more fuller they had one i was so close to getting and i probably should have just gotten it to be honest there is one from qvc that i'm eyeing and it's pretty inexpensive it's less than 100 and they ship here that i might want to get so but honestly i just want that instant gratification of buying something and having it in my living room i know that's so annoying but most things i do have to order here and it takes at least a week or two for me to get anything that I order so I kind of just want to buy something today and find like a cute pot or basket for the living room maybe a cute pot I feel like that would be more chic basket trees are more for a bedroom I would say but you never know I might not find a pot that I like and then just choose a basket but all right I'm talking way too much so I'll just see you guys when I get back home all right I just got home and I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul so they make these sweet potatoes on rocks it sounds kind of weird but taste amazing so I grabbed two of those I grabbed some broccoli watermelon these little fries are Stella's favorite so I grabbed two bags of that I also grabbed some already cooked edamame Andrew some fried calamari this is that orange honey chicken that Stella's obsessed with so I grabbed a bigger container of that she loves these little sausages, so I grabbed her a bag of that. Um, this is from On Base, so Andrew needed more bacon. Tonight we're making kind of like a Cajun shrimp boil, so I needed um, lemon for that. I grabbed more potatoes. Andrew needed milk, and we needed detergent. Stella needed more crescents. I had this yesterday for the first time, and it was amazing. Basically, they're just like vegetable pancakes. So good. I grabbed more shrimp because the pack that we defrosted doesn't have that many, so we needed one more. I grabbed this Wagyu meat mixture. I don't know, just looked really good. So I grabbed that, never had it. I also grabbed the chicken version of that. Looked good, never had it. We had this the other night and it was amazing. It's kind of like lightly breaded or panko chicken. So I grabbed another one of those. I grabbed a garlic bread so that way we could have with our Cajun boil tonight. Also some mushrooms and then this looked really good. They had they have a bakery there that they freshly make like the breads and everything daily. I don't know what this is. It kind of almost looks like a French toast. So I just grabbed that. And that's pretty much everything that I got at the grocery store out in town. This watermelon just looks so good. So I'm about to cut that up. Um, I am now home and Stella's eating her donut that I bought her. Andrew's in the back cutting some grass. But after she eats that, I'll probably put her down for a nap. And I really don't know what we have planned the rest of the day. I'm exhausted. If you guys haven't noticed by the bags, it's actually getting so hot outside. So I might wear a sundress later. Maybe I'll sem semi get ready for the day when she's napping. And then when she wakes up, we could go do something. Um, 
but apparently she wasn't really that cranky. I had to move because Stella's watching a movie, but apparently she wasn't really cranky when I was gone. So I'm gonna put all this away and I will just catch up with you guys later. Like I said, this weekend's a little more chill because Stella's sick and I don't know, I'm not sick, I just feel so tired. But Andrew's in the back, let me show you. Our back was disgusting. We are back in the car and I am vlogging on my phone again. I brought my camera, but I have like a mount for my phone that I use and it's actually been working. So I'm gonna vlog on my phone in the car, but I did bring my camera. Anyways, it's 1.40 and I just put Stella down for a nap. Andrew was playing video games with his friends back home, which he never gets to play with them anymore because of the time difference. But the time he gets to relax at night, it's already about four to five in the morning back home, so nobody's on. So right now he's playing and he's like, pretty excited so I said well I'm gonna go to Natori which is another home decor place and then I'm also gonna go to that one store where I said they had faux trees I'm just gonna go maybe they got more selection we will see but today's kind of turning out to be a self-care mommy Saturday which I am not mad about Andrew's gonna cook dinner I'm still not hungry I think it's because I haven't been feeling too well but normally when I don't feel too great and when it's hot out, which it is today, I just don't have an appetite. So I did bring a Kashi granola bar with me, this dark mocha almond. I don't think I've tried this before. So if I get a little hungry, I'll go ahead and eat that, but maybe we'll find a few things. I do want to organize this cabinet in our kitchen. I think I shared it with you guys before, but it's a disaster. One of our cabinets is kind of like our junk drawer because we don't really have a drawer as like a junk drawer so we have like a cabinet full of like random things so I need to buy semi cute baskets to organize that just very simple woven baskets and that's about it so yeah we're gonna head to the place right now I'm gonna listen to some music on my phone and today is actually turning out to be kind of a nice day when I came home as you guys seen Andrew was mowing the lawn and Stella was out there with him and she seemed to be doing fun Fine. her cough is still there but I'm hoping today is the last of it and then tomorrow or tonight we're kind of in the clear but if she's doing better we could plan the day and head up to Hiroshima and do breakfast or kind of just get out of the house because I feel like we've been in our town the past three weeks and not really venturing out like we were doing in the beginning so it will be nice to go do something tomorrow but Andrew and I are gonna plan kind of like a staycation next weekend. We're gonna figure out where at in Japan we wanna go, but we're gonna book an Airbnb. So that should be fun. Um, so I think we'll probably start planning that tonight or tomorrow and figure out where exactly it is where we wanna go and then book the Airbnb for two nights. Cause I think we wanna leave Friday night and then stay Saturday and then come back home Sunday. So that should be exciting, but I need to focus on the road. I guess I'll just see you guys once I get to the first store. Okay, I made it and this is the faux tree selection. Um, this one's actually pretty. This one right here was the one, I, the one I was looking at last time. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna switch out that basket because it's hideous but I think I like this one also look how cute these beds are so these are actually cat beds but the dogs need a new bed and I feel like this is so cute and it's spacious enough since I have smaller dogs so I'm not sure I kind of want to get one to see if they even like it I'm at the next store now. I was caught on the phone with my mom, so I haven't updated you guys, but look how cute these slippers are. I think I'm gonna get them for Stella, and then also 
these are the baskets that I'm gonna use to organize our, I guess, like junk area. And then also, I thought this would be really cute displayed on my little shelf above the stove. I really wanted to find a cute basket or something for, um, oops, for my new tree I just bought, but I haven't found anything that I like. All right, we are back in the car and I would say today has been a successful shopping trip. Got my tree, got some organizing. They're not really bins, they're kind of trays. I didn't really want like a bin because I wanted to still be able to kind of see what's in the cabinets if that makes sense um so i went with the ones that i showed you guys but andrew just messaged me saying that stella just woke up so she slept about an hour and a half which is kind of perfect because i'm already going home i'm hoping the tree looks as good <laughs> as i think it's going to look the basket it came with like i said is just so ugly i didn't find any replacement baskets at this last store i went to but i actually might go to a thrift store not today but maybe tomorrow or sometime during the week to find a really nice vase kind of like a rustic mid-century looking vase I feel like it'd be really pretty and make the tree look a little bit more high-end so that's the vibe I might go on Pinterest tonight and find some inspo but Arvin Alano kind of does his faux trees like that slash real plants and I think it looks really good so maybe that will work for me we'll see but okay I need to get off my phone and <laughs> pay attention apparently Stella woke up really cranky which what is new so good thing I'm already done shopping and heading home um, it's currently three o'clock and I'm still not that hungry I didn't even eat that granola bar that I brought but Andrew's gonna make Cajun like a Cajun shrimp kind of boil for dinner I'm so excited and I think by then I'll be really hungry and probably for the rest of the day we're just gonna hang out at home I am gonna organize my cabinet but I probably will do like a fast forward of me doing it and do a before and after shot because I don't want to bore you guys but it's so pretty out today the Sun is shining it feels so good I'm so bummed Stella's sick I was on the phone with my family for a long time so I didn't really update you guys between stores and everything like that I don't think um, but I was just telling my mom like updates with Stella how she's been sick and everything that's been going on because now that I'm working I don't even know if you guys can hear me but now that I'm working I don't even have time to talk to anybody yesterday since I technically didn't have to go to work at all besides an hour or two. I was able to FaceTime some of my best friends, family, and it's just hard to catch up with people because by the time I get off work, it's technically way later for everyone back at home. So this weekend is kind of just a chill weekend, which I don't mind. I'm able to actually catch up and talk to the people that I haven't been able to talk to lately. Um, so all in all it's not a bad weekend I just wish we were out in the Sun enjoying this weather because it's such a beautiful day okay so I just got home and this is what the tree is looking like it is gonna go in this corner it is not staying in this basket but it's all I had for now so that's what we're gonna do like I said I'm gonna make my way to the thrift store or something either tomorrow or within this week to find something else to go there because I just don't think this is the perfect basket for it personally but like I said it's all I had Stella's right here playing with her little kinetic sand Andrea ran to our friend's house real quick to go return something he borrowed and he already started cooking dinner I'm actually gonna take a quick shower and just relax for the rest of the night I'll share with you guys what we're making for dinner but I may or may not pick up the camera again after this I'm just really tired it's probably only 3 30 it's still so early in the day but I'm just so tired I think my body just needs to rest so if I don't pick up the camera until tomorrow that is why but I'm really happy with our cute little tree I feel like it kind of brightens up the room a bit and obviously brings some color to our living room which is what I think we needed I did have that little blanket basket there, so I need to mess around with our living room. I think I mentioned in a previous vlog that I'm just not loving our layout right now. So maybe tonight or tomorrow I'll mess with it. I really want to get some cute shelving either right there or move this there and put shelving right there. I just, <laughs> I haven't decided, but 
Stella, oh my gosh, what are you doing? No. No, did you make a mess? Oh my gosh, I gave her some whipped cream to snack on and she clearly didn't want it. So, yeah, she's super cranky today. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again Hi guys, good morning and happy, well not really morning Good afternoon and happy Sunday It is obviously the next day We took our morning pretty slow Stella is still kind of sick. She looks a lot better, but her cough and nose, she's still pretty congested. And Andrew's allergies and my allergies today are so bad, but we spent the morning cleaning. I did laundry. I deep cleaned our room and put everything away. But we are heading to lunch right now before we have to put Stella down for a nap. And we're just not gonna really do much for the rest of the day. I am gonna go back to the store because I'm gonna make Stella tomato bis soup today since she's not feeling too great. But I'm just gonna end today's weekend vlog here thank you guys so much for watching as always please like and subscribe i would love to have you guys here and i will just see you guys in my next video send prayers send prayers that stella gets better please because cranky stella's not it